Hello everyone and welcome to day 101. Today I'm going to be exploring boost. How much should I have? How much have I got? Apparently the Focus RS makes 1.6 bar as standard which is 23.2 psi. I'm curious to know if that's what I'm actually getting. I'm also curious to know if it's limited in first and second gear. I know my Fiesta ST, I got about 50% of peak boost in first and only about 80% in second. It was only third gear when it kind of properly lifted the reins and, and let the turbo start doing its full work. So I'm going to find a private stretch of road and do a few runs through first and second gear and data log and find out. Okay, here we go. First run I'll do in first gear. Let's see if I get 1.6 bar. First gear then, let's get it rolling first. And here we go. Now second gear. That's two runs in each gear. I'm going to go home, analyse the data, overlay some graphs and things like that. Let's find out how accurate that gauge is and I will report back. Let's just do that again. So, having looked at all the data, overlaid it on the video, compared the output from the ECU with what the gauge says, what have I learned? Well, the first thing to say is that the boost being held back, the torque limiting, if that's how they limit the torque by holding the boost back, is nowhere near as much as I thought it would be. It made something like 96%, I think it is, uh, of the peak boost, peak being 1.55 bar that I saw, it made 96% of that in first gear. So it's not held back anywhere near as much as my Fiesta ST was. That was held back to about 50% or thereabouts. And in second gear, it's not limited at all. So is that how they limit torque? I'm not sure. But in terms of how the boost is held back, it's nowhere near as much as I thought it would be. Uh, I do hear a lot that people say it is held back a lot in first and second. Well, you saw the results. It doesn't seem to be held back in second at all. Both runs in second and in third gave me 1.55 bar. So what about the, uh, the boost gauge? How accurate is that? Well, if what the ECU is telling me is actually what the engine is doing in terms of the boost levels. That does seem to map against the ECU's output quite accurately. It does seem to, you know, when it was saying it was 1.5 bar, it was pretty much exactly on. When it got to 1.55 bar, it was just beyond. So that gauge, 
I think is a lot more accurate than, than people give it credit for. Looks a bit yeah, toy-like, but it does seem to do the job and quite accurately say what the engine is doing. So on to my peak boost. I saw 1.55 bar. I've heard 1.6 is the peak, but I couldn't get that. I didn't see that yesterday. Now the ambient temperature yesterday was 19 degrees. It wasn't particularly humid. I don't think the conditions were anything that would mean the engine was you know, holding itself back at all. So do I have a problem? If you have a Focus RS, a Mark III, and it's standard, and you've logged the boost, I'd be interested to hear if you've seen 1.6 bar, because the most that I saw, as you saw from the data runs there, was 1.55. So do I have a problem or is 1.55 the peak and when it's been written about it's just been conveniently rounded up to 1.6. So there you have it, my investigation into boost. What does my car make? What should it make? Is it limited? It does seem to be. Not by that much though it would appear. So if you have any questions or comments or suggestions as to other things I could try out, um, please do leave them below the video. I do intend to do a walkthrough on data logging and how I do all of that uh, in a future video. So if you'd like to see that, please do subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all soon in my next video.